Will this all powers R600 portable power station be enough to power this full-size camper? Well, you know we're gonna find out. First of all, guys, thanks for 50,000 subscribers. That's incredible. Um, I'm on my way to 100,000, that's my goal for this year. So if you wanna stick around and help out with that, I appreciate it. Sometimes having a YouTube channel, people reach out and they want you to try their stuff and Honestly, most of the time, it's it's nothing that even interests me or is anything that's specific to my channel. However, when All Powers reached out to me and they wanted to send me a portable power station, I thought, you know what? Yeah, I can give that a go. So what we're going to do is try and run this camper off of it. Now, they do have a model that's got the 30 amp trailer plug like this thing needs. Um, they didn't have any of those available for testing at this time. So I'm going to give this R600 a go. We're going to plug this camper into it and we're just going to see how long it takes us to max it out. With the 200 watt solar panels hooked up on a nice sunny day like this, I think we're going to give it a good go. We might be able to get a lot done with it. Um, and then we're going to find out uh, if this is going to meet your needs for, you know, boondocking or just like off grid living in general. Since All Powers is sponsoring this video, they were kind enough to send me a discount code for all my subscribers to use. It's a 10% off when you check out with an order from All Powers online. I'll post all the links below. That code is going to be somewhere near the end of this video, so keep watching for that write it down when you see it order yourself some solar powered stuff it's it's you should have some okay, so this panel comes with a variety of adapters uh, cords and that looks like the plug that's going to go into the the r600 unit itself so I'm going to connect it to the wire that is attached to the solar panels. I'm going to power this thing up. Now, I looked at a lot of other videos on this unit on YouTube, and a lot of them, I mean, they're just trying out, you know, some power tools. Obviously, we know it's going to charge cell phones. It's going to charge GoPro batteries. You know, when people go camping, it's mostly their electronics. They want to charge cell phones and whatnot. Um, it's kind of boring, and we don't do boring on this channel. So let's uh, plug this sucker in and see what we can do. Let's uh, let's turn some stuff on. That, that does not 12 volts. So we've got um, oh okay air conditioning. Well, let's let's start out with the uh, let's start with a the fan. There comes the fan. All right. Now that's just the the, the fan in the AC unit. Um, so probably not drawing a bunch of power. Maybe. Let's see. Oh, it is. Okay. So, and you, pr I'm, I'm sure you can't see the screen because of the sun, and I've got this thing tipped up anyway. So now we've got 250 watt output, but we've got 15, 52 watts of input from the solar panels, and it's, uh, I was at 100%. We're down to 98 already. Uh, so we're, we're working it, and that's the intent here. We want to see what the sucker can handle. I'll flip this back on its side just to, just to be sure. Okay, so I've determined that this unit is just, um, you're not going to get air conditioning from it. I do have the fan going, and a fan is going to help. Will it run a microwave? I don't know. I, uh, we have one in here, it's not plugged in. Anyways, I think, I think people, when you're, when you're doing the off-grid stuff, probably don't use a microwave. Um, air conditioning, you probably don't use either. So let's run this fan for a bit. I've got it on high. Um, I'm going to see what we do, and see how long we can go on a charge here. Uh, maybe, we'll, maybe we'll have to try something else after. Off. Fans off, uh, water heater. Um, you can only run either the water heater or the fireplace uh, if you want electric water heater, obviously. So we're gonna go fireplace. And let's see, let's see. Uh, I mean, it is hot as hell outside, but we're making heat and we're not. Um, okay, so you're not running an electric fireplace off one of these. Gotta be honest. Uh, this thing's starting to impress me. Um, I lost track of time. But what I'm gonna do is I think I'm, okay, I'm at 80% now. That's with that fan running with the TV on. I'm gonna start a stopwatch because I wanna see how long it takes to get down to, let's say 50%. Uh, I, think, I bet you it's gonna be a little while. Uh, here we go, timer starting at 79%. That's close enough to 80. Still got 95 watts of input. Okay, it's been uh, about five and a half minutes since we were at 80%. Let's see what we got. Well, you won't be able to read that probably again. We are at 73% uh, now. Um, 
Do you think we should plug a fridge in? Power mode. We want... I don't want to use propane. Come on. Oh my gosh, can we just... There, electric. I have a feeling that is that fridge is gonna suck this thing dry pretty quick. We're at 540 watts output, um, down to 69%. But the fridge is running. So it's the fridge, the fan, and the TV in the back room, which probably isn't doing anything. Like I honestly, I don't have all day to film this video. I need to get over to there and put more shingles on that playhouse with the boys. So we're going to plug in a second fridge. I'll try and see there. All right, it's on. Two fridges, air conditioner fan on high. And the TV, I think it just turned off automatically. So we'll give up on that. Let's go take a look. And we are at 45% right now. And it's been 16 minutes. 16 minutes since we were at, what was it, 80%. Um, so yeah, it's dropping pretty quick. But keep in mind too, these fridges are completely warm. Since it seems that I approve of this unit, uh, here's that 10% off code right now. You can see it right here across the screen. Remember that when you check out, when you pick one of these up for yourself, and I think you should. Now I just adjusted these solar panels to face directly at the sun. Obviously it's moved since I started filming this video. And I'm up to like over 100 watts of input, which is, I think we were what, 94, 95 when I first started. Let's see what we got now. Yeah, 105 watts input. Uh, and I mean, you couldn't get a more direct and, and it's, it's hot. I'm hot. So the solar panels are probably hot. And that's, I guess, what they do. They're working great, fantastic. Okay, half an hour later, we're down to 9%. I've turned everything off. There's still 14 uh, watts being used. I don't know if that might be the um, inverter to charge the battery in the trailer or something. I have everything off the trailer, so I don't know what it is. Um, so now, let's see if it starts creeping back up with no draw on it. Um, there's obviously more input than there is output, so it should start building back up. Keep an eye on it and see what we can find. It's been 15 minutes just on the solar panel. We're from, we went from 9% back up to 17%. I've still got 107 watts input. I have disconnected the trailer. Now's a good time to go over some other features. So we've got two of these plugs, turn them on by the power. You've got two USB-Cs, you've got two USB-As, you've got a cigarette lighter 12 volt, and you've got the wireless cell phone charger, which I can't get to work. I don't know why. I'm gonna look into that more. Honestly, but that's not what this video is about. You want to see all the features and the details. There's like a whole bunch of other boring channels that you can watch that stuff on. Or you can go to the All Powers website and all the specs will be there. Like I have in the owner's manual. I might list a couple down below in the video description. I might not. You're going to have to go look. Thanks for watching this video. Uh, I hope you get the chance to take advantage of the 10% discount code that All Powers is offering my subscribers. If you want to watch a few more of my videos, I got a couple here for you. YouTube really suggests you watch this one. And if you haven't subscribed yet and you want to, just hit the icon right here. Done. That easy. See you in the next video.